Well, isn't this a wonderful, wonderful view? Hundreds upon thousands of wildebeests covered through this plain. And it continues to stretch on as Senzo continues to pan across the horizon. They are just everywhere. I'm sure you're getting some great audio of them chatting to one another. <laughs> you, you wonder how they actually know who to listen to or what they're saying when there are so many of them speaking simultaneously. But they seem to work it out. That's Tanzania to the south. We're kind of on the Kenyan-Tanzanian border here, so the further, uh, the furthest views you get will be in Tanzania. Absolutely mind-boggling. Now, please, everyone, I must stress that you must keep track of how long the grass is now, because by the time all of these are finished, the grass will be very, very short. So that's something to think about. Another thing to think about is exactly what Jacqueline has just asked me. Once the wildebeest have left you, Jacqueline would be interested to know if the predators would follow them, if the predators also migrate with them. And the answer to that is no, Jacqueline. The predators are territorial, so they will stay in their home territories and just have to make deal with kind of make do with more regular living conditions as opposed to the few months of bounty never-ending food supply. Although, having said that, Jacqueline, I have heard that some prides of lion do kind of partially, you could say, semi-migrate, but it's nowhere near the distance these animals are coming. It's more of a kind of seasonal movement to try and cash in on the migration, and then they move further north away from the migration action once it's died down. Again, that is something that we will be able to explore and discover together in the next few months. Absolutely awesome, beautiful vista, filled with animals. I don't think we could find ourselves in a better position than where we are here. Non-stop action in the Mara. Literally every corner you turn around, there's something to look at, even if it is only beautiful, beautiful views. But nine times out of ten, there will be an animal in the frame somewhere. So it's up in this area where I'm told there's two male cheetahs as well as a cheetah with a few cubs, a female.